we get on flight to the to the shy. What could have happened with Dipset, man? Had everything kind of had the whole Rockefeller thing never fell out? You know, where do you place? Because Trevor Ryan is by far the most sarcastic goddamn rapper of all time. But I actually like his sarcastic, arrogant ass. I've always had a soft spot for Cameron. <laughs> arrogant talk. So he's the most shit talking, arrogant. But he's. I like him though. I, I've always liked Killer Cam. I can't front on that, man. I, I, and I like Jules. I like Jimmy. I like all them dipset boys. Yeah. What would have happened had that shit not just went debunked and people started go, going separate ways? You yeah, separate that? ways. I mean, they could have had a run, man. And they, I feel like dipset had their niche where they had a few lanes carved out where they had some hits that were big enough to make the whole crew some money. But the problem is, is that things get in the way, man. Um, everybody wants to be king. Mm. You know, had Cam and Jim been able to handle their differences with each other, had, you know, the crew been able to stay consistent, you know, had they utilized players like J.R. Ryder and 40 Cal correctly, you know, because I feel like they got seriously underutilized when they actually became a part of Dipset. Yeah. Really. Seriously under real Like, we used to marvel at some of the underground stuff and mixtape of J.R. Ryder and be like, man, this dude about to be a problem, man. And then he just wasn't, I don't feel like he was utilized properly with, with Dipset. 40 Cal either. And uh, Hell Rail. I mean, there's a lot of different other people, things you can put out there. They had a nice little run with Cam's albums, with Diplomatic Immunity, with Jim Jones, Poem, you know. I mean, these were great moments, right? They ha And they had a very, very loyal niche fan base that could keep them running and they had enough hits out there that could keep them in people's consciousness as well. The problem was to me, I think was inconsistency in the effort. Mm -hmm. And then eventually the egos, I think sort of getting in the way as well. And really Cam and Jim were the ones who were driving the bus at that time. I Me, mean, Joel's yeah. Joel's had a little bit of potential because he had some presence with them. But again, it's the whole thing about consistency. Really, Cam and Jim were the ones driving the bus. But That's once the true. two of them, once the two of them started beefing with each other, things getting over. in the way, it was over. It was over. Like I kind of feel like the downfall of Rockefeller also aided in this as well, Me because too. they had loyalty split. Who's going to side with Jay? Who's going to side with so Dame? Dick that and them sided with Dame because that's their homeboy from Harlem, right? Correct. I mean, they had some dope albums collectively as a group. Dope albums of individuals that I named, all the folks that I said, and stuff that wasn't necessarily classics, but things that were like, damn, man, that shit was actually all right, you know? And they had some radio hits, but it wasn't just, it just wasn't enough, right? Because I kind of feel like I would like to see Kanye do some more work for him like he did during the, the early days. That kind of fell off as well you would want to see them be able to be a little bit more consistent because they had some pieces there, man. As a collective, they had some pieces that would be, that would be ready to cook, Matt. But when you start getting that large of a group of folks together, man, I'm damn, damn egos getting in the way, man, will fuck shit up. And that's what happened. I think with them now, they reunited eventually, man. But the thing is about when you lose momentum like that, it's hard to get it back because it's hard to get it back, man. It's hard. Yeah. Man, Cam is always, man, I appreciate Cam because he was always the one to show love to Shy, man. He all, one thing about yeah. Cam, he was one of the first New York rappers to realize it's some fly cool shit outside of New York, man. He, oh, yeah. So he always gave, I'm on the west side of Chicago looking for a bus style. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got both hands up. Touchdown. I said, go ahead, Cam. Yeah. So, man, I've always yeah. had a lot of love for Cam, man. And like I said, I love Jimmy, man, as well, man. man mm -hmm. Ballin? Ballin was a huge record, man. That oh, yeah. Ballin record. was, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievably big. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. Unbelievably big. Absolutely, brother. So, shout out to the dip set, man. I'm glad all them brothers are doing well now, man. I'm glad mm -hmm. Cam and Mace, all them boys, doing good. Yeah, they, oh. got, they got cooked in the verses, though, but, you know. <laughs> they cooked. What, the beat cut. Wait. They famously cooked in the verses. Hey, yeah. No. They, I mean, Jaden and them didn't have to do them like that bad. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that. yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. they catalog couldn't for anyway. Nah, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. digress.
Be cock, so we leave New York.